Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're going to go back live again and we're going to stream ADM this time because uh, we had some issues with the Battle Royale stream. So we're going to see what's going on here with the ADM, see if it works uh, well, and uh, hopefully the stream will be uh, up to date this time. Everything should be healthy and good to go, uh, theoretically. We'll find out in just a minute once uh, once we get going here. So we got about well, uh, and, uh, hopefully eight minutes. Till, uh, the uh, live time so got two queued right now hopefully it catches up a little bit more than that get some people online get a good uh, opponent as well it's always more fun whenever you fight somebody tough in ADM uh, so there's that and moving forward we got eight minutes here so what I'm gonna do you know ADM takes 20 minutes and uh, that's just the uh, duration of it so what I always do is I always pop 30 minute buffs for it uh, for the tournament I'll pop big ones for this one I will not so I'm going to go, and first thing I want to do is I want to pop Hunting March Speed, because those last for an hour. And then I'm going to also pop just 30-minute attack boosts. I'm not going to use those ones. I'm going to buy the gold ones. I use the gold ones. I save my big ones for uh, actual combat. It's just how it is. So as this is going, if uh, chat can keep me up to date, let me know if it starts lagging. Let me know if you think something's off, because uh, I had some issues a minute ago with it whenever I streamed Battle Royale. So hopefully this uh, does a little better. I'm going to use the 20% debuffs. So if we get somebody big, I'm going to be sad that I did that. And that's just how it goes. That's the way it is. We got seven minutes until the uh, ADM actually starts. And we'll see. Looks like uh, we're already having video output low. So I'm having some uh, stream issues. Let me see. What's going on here? I'm gonna check Looks the. Like, uh, we're already having video output low, so I'm having some uh, stream issues. Let me see. Uh, looks like it's good to go. So we'll see. Uh, looks like it's uh, it is lagging a little bit, but it should be, uh, should catch up as we as we get going here. And yeah, that's the way it is. So we got three people watching. So at least if it does lag, it's not gonna be too terrible. Anybody watching in chat? Yeah. Dubai, how does the uh, how does the stream look? It looks like it's uh, all right to me. We'll we'll find out in a minute. We got three people queued. Hopefully we get some more than that. Hopefully we get somebody uh, pretty decent at it. And we'll see. We'll see how it ends up going. Uh, before we get started, we got six minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to look at the forums. Just a handy dandy little click away right there. And I want to look at uh, the content that will be excluded in the 3.2 update. So everybody knows that this update was coming. And, uh, you know, they posted it a couple days. There's a lot of uh, people that were not that happy with Tier 7 troops and additional Citadel building uh, levels. So, actually, what they're doing is they're pulling that. And it's not going to be in there. So, uh, buildings are going to remain level 30. Strongholds are going to remain at level 30. Tier 7s and the associated research is not there as well anymore. So, I'm sure that will be coming uh, at some point in the near future. But as of right now, they're holding off on it. So... Keep that in mind, and also keep in mind that starting tomorrow is the Battle Royale Ultimate Tournament. So you want to make sure that you are uh, good to go with that one. Start uh, start doing some Battle Royales, practicing, and starting as soon as the period for the Ultimate Tournament starts, you got to start earning points for it. And the only way you can earn points for it is by doing it during the uh, time frame. I'll look at the uh, notice for it. So you see here, Qualifying Round. Score acquisition period goes from December 13th through December 20th. And what that means is that means that you have to do as many battle rods as you can. You're going to get points for it based upon your rankings in those, in those battle royales. If you scroll down, you see these are, your, these are your points that you get for it. And the qualifying rounds, you see those battle royales, you're going to get four shots at it a day, 7 a.m., 1 p.m., 7 p.m., 1 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Uh, if you're ranked 7 or below, you're not going to get any points. But if you're rank 1 through 6, you get those points. So obviously, rank 1 is the highest, and then uh, you know goes down from there. And out of those available Battle Royales during the time frame, those are the ones that you're going to accumulate points on. So out of all of the people in all of Iron Throne, whoever the top 20 people with the most points are, those are the ones that get placed in the finals. Those are the ones that get the rewards. Um. And that's just uh, how it's going to go. So it doesn't cost anything to do it. Try to take part in those four battle royals a day, <laughs> set an alarm or something like that, and uh, 
get into it, get those points up, and make sure that you are ready to go for the tournament. As I said, only the top 20 people are going to get into it, so make sure that you are one of those top 20 people if you want to have the chance at the uh, ludicrous rewards from the Battle Royale tournament. So, uh, yeah, chat's uh, always talking about the pay to win. I'm going to check my heroes now. I've got my boosts running. There's my guard captain. There are my ladies. They've got all the archer gear, everything like that. Make sure my cav gear is good to go, and make sure my infantry gear is good to go. Not going to pop auras, because this is just a standard ADM, and we don't know who we're going to get. We've only got five people going in as well. So that's going to be an issue. And then, last but not least, the thing I always forget to do, go and set my ADM skills. And ADM skills just means I've got my march speed, and I've got all my combat stats there. You see all those combat stats, those debuffs, everything like that. I uh, don't have my rally size maximized, obviously. But I'm going to make sure that I've got ADM skills up, make sure my boosts are all up. Um, during the tournament, you're going to go in here, and you're also going to do, where is it, gather? Oh, I've still got gather, because you want to make sure that you can gather on tiles as quickly as possible. But, so there's that. we got 2 minutes and 45 seconds till the queue pops. Um, going back into the updated content, though, just to uh, keep the uh, stream from going dead air here. <clears throat> This uh, stuff coming out, one of the big changes is going to be the gold moon. I'll go look at that, too. They posted a guide in their forums. And uh, so if you scroll down right there, guide, golden moon. Now, what the golden moon is, it's uh, basically like Battle Royale. You see here, it's going to be on the dimensional void down there. And then, depending on your um, stronghold level, or I'm sorry, castle level, then you uh, pour it in to those six grades. And you're going to hit enter. And then you're going to be going in there. It looks to me like Golden Moon's going to be up all the time. I'm not positive about that, but it looks like Golden Moon is going to be up all the time, which is uh, going to be pretty neat if that's the case. And uh, once you leave, you can't go back in for an hour. So you see this building in the center of the Golden Moon, the Golden Sanctuary is up to six levels, so that one to six. Once it's uh, taken control, of special rewards can be required at certain times. So, you see, uh, you can't uh, team up, you can't rally, you can't do anything like that. It's all going to be solos and everything else like that. So, we'll go into more about the Golden Moon uh, later on. Probably do a video about it soon. Especially, it's, you know, the content's coming out tonight. So, I will be updating with that stuff as it becomes available. But I'm pretty excited about it because it looks like it is a PvP event that is up all the time. And that's pretty awesome. So, uh, I'm hoping for that. I'm hoping that it's up all the time. Once you get zeroed out or something like that, then uh, you're obviously not going to be able to go back into Golden Moon for an hour. We're up to six now, so we'll see who we actually get queued up against. But big thing about Golden Moon, from the first notes, I obviously need to go through that guide a little bit more. Big thing about Golden Moon, though, you go in with all your research, all your gear, all your everything like that. That's all you. Um, also, all your troops. So your, your actual troop count is going to go into Golden Moon with you. Um, but it looks like troops that are lost in Golden Moon don't get lost forever. Uh, don't quote me on that. It looked like that was from the uh, first notes. Um, I'll update that as it becomes available. But So it looks like it is a PvP event that is up all the time, that you can go to anytime, that you bring all your troops to, which is pretty dang neat. So I'm looking forward to that. Also, uh, it looks like the rewards for it are going to be for the new levels once those come out. And until then, based upon the level of chest, you're going to get different things like... Uh, it looks like the Platinum Chest gives chests for new gear, stuff like that. So uh, if you are a big account, you can go in there, hold that Sanctuary, get some new new gear, everything else like that. So that looks uh, pretty exciting. Um, what research is quick and easy to boost your power, says Byron Grove. Well, that would be the Craft Tree. It's not quick, it's not easy, but it gives you a whole lot of power. Uh, ADM's up now. We got K together P. I don't know who that is, so this might be a quick Alliance Deathmatch. We'll see how this ends up going. Um, might feel bad for these guys, or it might have a whole bunch of people that I've actually heard of. Uh, we'll find out in just a minute. Either way, hoping for a good game, hoping for some decent-sized people. Uh, we do have a Cactus on our team this time, so if they don't have decent-sized people, it should go fairly quickly. And let's see. I got Jess for Relax in there, so they got a couple people. Oh, it looks like some side players. So yeah, it should be should be decent. Right off the bat, I'm gonna make sure that I get enough points to uh, teleport. So you see me hitting these kelpies right here. If I've got a big tile next to me, then I'll go gather on it. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab that 200k tile. That's my gather hero. He's got gathering gear. 
Now I'm going to start going for the ones in the middle. The ones in the middle are obviously worth a lot more points, and that's why I popped that Monster Hunt March Speed Boost, because I wanted to be able to get out to these without using my speeds. I pretty much never use speeds at the start of the game. I save those for later on in the game because there's nothing more frustrating in Alliance Deathmatch than running out of speed and not having enough speeds. That is uh, very frustrating at the end of the game. Uh, in the first Alliance tournament, Alliance Deathmatch tournament ever, I actually uh, ran out of speeds, had my troops coming home, and did not get them in back in time from a tile because I was out of speeds. And if I had gotten them back in time from that tile, we would have won the game against BXS. So... Because of that now, I'm always very careful with speed usage because that one burned me pretty hard, obviously. So we got Gate Creeper pointed out to the middle there. He's gathering on that big tile right there. And big tiles are a good way to get a lot of uh, a lot of points early on. We got Just Relax right there. 15 Bill. I think he's their biggest player. I'm not really sure. I'm going to sport around and scout now. Cooper's 4. Bits is 2.5. Taco is 323. Death penalties 500. I don't think Taco's going to last long. No offense, Taco. Buddy, I like your name. I love tacos. But I don't think that you're going to be uh, making it very long. So I'm guessing Taco is about ready to uh, start teleporting pretty quickly. Look at Gorex. They're boosting up those points. Uh, unfortunately, I get, didn't get to my extra tier 5 yet. You have to have a million points for tier 5. And I haven't gotten there yet. But uh, usually the first hit will get me there. So we'll see how that goes. And it looks like the stream hell is still doing pretty good. So that's good. Chat is fairly inactive, though. So what do you think, guys? Should I go right for one of the big guys? Or should I... Yeah, I'm going right for these fellas. I'll teleport right in the middle of them. There goes Taco. He gone. Figured that was coming. Let's see what Cooper's got there. Four bill. Cactus is just going to wreak some havoc on those guys. And I am going to look for Taco. Somebody else like that. There you are, Cooper. Cooper got out of Dodge. I've still done absolutely nothing. There's Taco. But I tell you what, if I port right on him, I bet you Taco teleports, so I'm not going to port right on him. And this is my Cav Hero. So I'm going to try to get three marches into him as quickly as possible. Nope, he teleported immediately. So you saw that, but now I've got my extra tier five at least. Um, Taco knows Taco knows his place in ADM, which is uh, running really quickly. Now we got Cooper triple marching on Phil Doomim and me and Cactus... Teleport in. So I'm best, I'm guessing Cooper's going to get the hell out of here pretty quickly, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll try to get three marches into him for if he does teleport. And let's see how he does. Phil is getting beat up on right now. Hang strong, Phil Dubum. You're going to be okay, buddy. Let's make sure that I get uh, the, all the burns in on Cooper. He's got his troops back now. Let's see, did he get... Uh, yeah, he burned every, every single time. So Cactus is going to be taking that boost in a second, assuming that Cactus is triple marching. We're winning pretty big on points. Um, I don't know that they have the firepower to be able to hang in, in there with us this time. As you can see, though, I'm being fairly uh, easy on my speed usage because, like I said, I really don't like running out of speeds. So there's death penalty up there, 491. C2's messing him up. He doesn't want to teleport, but I'm just going to go ahead and start marching from right here. There he goes. Cactus just uh, burned out Cooper the four bill. So, sorry, Cooper. Cactus hits hard. It is what it is. Um, but that's how it is. Uh, you might notice Just Relax, his name from my last Alliance Deathmatch video. That fella was on the winning team last time. So this guy's 2.7. And I'm going to double pop him. Got somebody else going in there. Who is that? Cactus, let's see if I can't time it to steal the kill from Cactus. Oh, did I get it? Eh, gotcha, sucker. Cactus isn't going to be happy with me about, <laughs> about that one. That is how you poach a kill, ladies and gentlemen, right there. Am I going to do the same like I always do in Alliance Team Deathmatch? What do you mean? What's the same? What do I always do in Alliance Team Deathmatch? It's just for relax, 15 bill. I'm probably going to start setting rallies on him here in just a second, because I know that he has good Dark Lord, uh, if I can find him. Let's see if somebody else has him. Need cords. There he is. All right. Start setting rallies now, and I'm going to send my infantry folks. So, there we go. In for rally up is what I'm going to say in chat, and we're going to start uh, banging down just for relax using rallies. 
Looks like Cactus got him on a solo. I'm not sure if he had troops out or if he is actually able to be soloed. Um, but he's trying to send some troops out. So I'm going to counter while he's got troops out there and see how that goes. Oh, yeah. Bad news for him. When he gets troops out, I can actually uh, solo burn him. So we're going to get these ones sped in, and then I'm going to attack now. Everybody gets three instant deploy rally attacks, so you should use those as much as possible. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on setting rallies on him, and as soon as he has troops out, I will uh, solo him as well. So this one is going to be a cav rally. And for faster march, cav up. If he gets a boost or something like that, I'm not going to keep messing with him. It looks like... They might have been solo burning him there, so this uh, this game might be over fairly quickly. There's still another player, though. Where's that guy? We got two players left up there in the top right. I, if you haven't noticed that yet, he's about to get a boost. He got a boost, but uh, I think even with that boost, we'll be able to burn him with a rally, assuming I got a uh, decent number of troops in, which looks like I did. Uh, my alliance members are not sending their heroes, though, to this rally. They should be sending their heroes. As we've talked about, we get a lot of extra points for sending heroes to the rally. So JFR pointed right up next to us. I've only got 600k in, and he's boosted. I'm not sure how this is going to go for me, because he is he does have that 1,000% boost you saw from that kill shot. He's about to get another one off Phil Dubin. Cactus is countering him, though, and burning him. So that's good. I'm not going to use my instinct, because I've only got a couple seconds left on it. So now, here goes the rally. Everybody in the match gets five march speeds on the rally. As you can see, he's close enough. I'm not going to use any of those in case he plays the runaway game later on. He sent out another march, so I'm going to solo him and use a whole bunch of speeds to try to get uh, in that back door as his troops are out. And let's see if I get the burn on him there. Uh, doesn't look like I did. No. So he ate that one. But I'm going to go ahead and set another infantry rally as well. He teleported. Uh-oh. I think he's coming for me with his boost. He wants to get it done on me. Let's see how this holds up. Here we go. He's got a thousand percent boost. Oh, nope. He's, uh, is he actually sending a whole lot? Yeah, he is. He's got tier six. So he's going to be hitting me a lot harder. We actually don't have anybody on the team that has tier six. But that's all right because I think we're pretty much set at this point. Set my cab rally. Cash is trying to backdoor again. I still haven't found that other guy. Um, so let's find the other one, because this last guy can give me a boost. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for him. If he's got low HP, I'm going to grab a 1,000% boost right before my rally launches. And right before my rally launches, I'm there he is. Taco, you made it this whole time. Look at you. Good job, Taco. I'm proud of you, buddy. I'm going to steal that shot from come to get you. Sorry, C2. And poach that kill from him. Oh, he got me. What a jerk. And we see Gorax just filled with all of his troops, but that's all right. That should work. I'm going to launch it now, and this game should be coming to an end fairly shortly uh, after these rallies get going into him. So we still don't have anybody with Tier 6, so it's going to become a lot harder to uh, to solo burn him, which is why this has taken so long, because he's got Tier 6 and we don't. As you can see... Cactus, Gorax, me, NC2 all kind of split those points at the top. And when there's a lower number of people in the games, it's harder to get to Tier 6. That's just uh, how it is, because uh, you split those points. So you just relax, got the majority of the points for his team, which is why now he is able to uh, he's able to take these solos. And he's actually soloing come to get you right there, because he's got Tier 6, and he's not boosted anymore. But... It is what it is, and as he sends another solo, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to try to backdoor him here if he sends another solo out. Cactus is doing the same thing. He's, oh, there he goes. He sent out a solo, so I will be soloing as well and trying to take that out, and then we're going to look at my rally attack. Again, my rally attack also has big boosts on it. See this? I get 300% uh, rally attack buff and 300% defense and HP as well, so my rally is going to hit harder than it usually does because of this uh, solidarity boost. And that's with only six people coming into the game. So when you get up to the point that uh, a lot more people are coming into the game, you're going to get up to 1,000% on the rally attack boost. And now to finish it off, I'm going to send both of my infantry heroes, auto-select troops, send my dragon, and see if that can't get him down. Look for the Death Knight in case it does. C2 got him. So all in all, decent game. Uh, just for Lax's tough, as always, C2 got to... Uh, Tier 6, so that's good. 
But going back to it, that rally attack uh, boost, boost is going to be a pretty big deal towards the end of games like that. So you saw JFR was 15 billion. He's got good gear. He had tier six. We didn't have tier six, but the rally attack boost actually helped it out. So good job, Cactus Gorax and C2 on your top scores in ADM. Everybody else, thanks for watching the stream. Really appreciate it. Um, going back to the updates, though, if we go and we look at Golden Moon, I wanted to talk about that for just another second here. I'll scroll down to the Golden Moon guide via the in-game forums. And we're going to talk about uh, about it. They can acquire special construction materials when they take control of the Golden Sanctuary and protecting it from other lords. So right now, those materials are compasses and everything else like that. I believe once the new stuff comes out, those are going to be uh, even more than that. You see that skin right there? That's the new Star Castle skin, so that's cool. Uh, in their in their screenshot there, and you see that you can access it from the Dimensional Void, and everything else like that. We already talked about how it's depending on your Citadel level, and you see up to twenty Lords can in enter to engage in innovative battles to take control of the Golden Sanctuary. Total of nine Golden Sanctuaries are placed in the middle of each region that is divided into nine zones, just like the map seen in Battle Royale. So those are the tiles that you see in Battle Royale, teleporting around. And you see the Golden Sanctuary right there is placed in the ba uh, in the center of the battle in the Golden Moon. And that's what's going to give you, you see, control words, Golden Moon Diamond Chest times one. So you get that every five minutes. So that's how those chests stack up. If you look at that screenshot right there, it says reward interval every five minutes. And so you're going to get a new chest every five minutes for it. <clears throat> now you're going to receive uh, march speeds, teleports, and cancel marches upon entry. You can only use those in the Golden Moon. They're going to go away once you leave. You can't just go in, collect them, and leave. So you can't uh, get more march speed-ups or more, more teleports or more cancel marches. You can't do that. And that's the way it goes. So if a Golden Sanctuary is taking control or after a certain amount of time, it's going to be a conquered state and lords in control of a sanctuary will receive wards according to the time of occupation. So as we saw, every five minutes you get chests. And you take your boosts in there, just like Alliance Deathmatch, as you can see right there. Status of troops and active bus, except for peace shields, will still be applied. You can't go in there and be shielded, unfortunately. And here's the big one, number two, like I was talking about earlier. The casualties resulting from battles in the Golden Moon is applied only within the Golden Moon and will not apply to the existing kingdom. So that means if you go into Golden Moon, you get your ass zeroed, you teleport out, you still got all your shit. Uh, your shit. So that's good. Uh, you can't support, you can't rally, you can't do anything else like that. And here you go. You see, once you teleport out, you're going to get the chests mailed to you. And as we talked about, these are the chests that you get for holding every five minutes. Uh, this is for Master, and these are the Citadel levels again. What those chests, you see, Master is level 33, Diamond, Platinum, Gold, Silver, Bronze. So right now, all the level 30 people that go in there and level 28 are going to be getting those uh, Diamond and Platinum rewards. So level 30... You go in, you get <clears throat> two marble, one sulfur, uh, Maester's Compass, Kindling, War Trumpet, and Shackle. <clears throat> so as we talked about, if you're level 30, you go into Golden Moon, you get the new materials that you need right there. If you're level 28, you can't get the new materials yet. You can't start building that up uh, from the platinum chests there. You see platinum chests give uh, Maester's Compass, Kindling, War Trumpet, and Shackle. So they will build up materials for you to get up to level 30. And you're also going to get new equipment chests, Slaughter, Agility, Outcry, and Majestic. And once again, you get one of those chests every five minutes that you hold, and you can go to Golden Moon all the time. You just can't go back after you uh, lose. So it looks like I'm, I'm looking forward to it quite a bit because it's something that we can do all the time. We can teleport in. We can hold one of those sanctuaries. We can fight each other, and we can get rewards for it. Um, there, there is going to be a lot of frustration, I'm assuming, whenever you get to 4 minutes and 55 seconds and somebody takes it from you. That's going to piss me the hell off. Uh, but it is it is what it is. Uh, look at the stream chat. Byron Grove, bake what research can help me boost power quick? Byron Grove, if you're wanting to boost power quick, the highest power research in the game is pretty much craft. Do the craft tree. Uh, it's also expensive on speeds and silver, and it doesn't give actual much of a combat reward. It just increases your immortal set bonuses and everything else like that and lets you um, enhance your items higher. So if you just want a whole lot of power, do the craft tree. Uh, if you want your power to be very useful, do the troop training tree. And obviously, battle is right there as well. So the way that I uh, specify my 
layout in terms of what I consider most important goes troop training, then battle, then uh, the second hero tree is what I'm looking at right now. Then after that, you've got uh, craft and city are about the same. City has some good uh, troop training cost reduction later on. But that's all for the stream right now. Everybody else, thanks for watching. Looked like it went a little more smoothly than the Battle Royale did this time, so I'm happy about that. And uh, we got the update tonight. So update is coming in about, well, about uh, 10 hours. So get ready for that. Remember, your shields are going to get extended. Uh, if you're holding heroes or anything like that, then uh, now is a good time for it because you can be shielded while holding heroes. So everybody else, thanks for watching the Steam stream. Excuse me. Appreciate it. Give me a like. Give me a follow. Subscribe. All that stuff.